going to show you today the Squark Pyramid and look at polyrhythms with the device. So first of all I will get the device ready now. This, I can't edit this, I need to show you everything in one go. So I might hesitate a little, um, but anyway, let's go. So I want to connect to my Aera TR8. That's on channel 10, so track, and I'm pressing channel, and I've gone to channel 10. I'm going to push the encoder so that I get MIDI A and USB connected. And you can see there it's now emboldened, so I know that any MIDI will go out on A and via the USB. So that's the default track set up there. Um, I'm just going to go into step mode. Now I'm just going to send a C2 note to the TR8. Okay, so now we can hear the, the bass drum and I'm going to now set this to Euclidean mode because it's just easier this way. What I'm going to do now is explain what a polyrhythm is. Okay, a polyrhythm is if you imagine a space of time and in that time there are many beats. If we take two of those and then have another space of time with beats in it, we have two rhythms and that's why it's called polyrhythm. And polyrhythm in terms of the pyramid and elsewhere is that the measure is the same but the beats are not. So they, the two rhythms run concurrently to produce the beat. Now here, as soon as I go into this mode, uh, it's defaulted to the 4-4, four four, so I'm going to take that off. Now I'll just show via the screen I'm going to show via the screen now uh, using Word and that should be there now how we calculate a polyrhythm. Now in the example I'm giving I'm using three four. So I'm going to shuffle that out of the way and this is where you know it's being done live. So there we go, we've got a space of time and this represents time. And we're going to create two ratios, one with four beats and one with three beats. So that is represented like this, with this notation. What does that actually mean? Well, first of all, we need to know what the lowest common denominator is. And in this case, we times four by three. So we get 12 because we know that four times three is 12. So what that tells me is that we want, we are going to get 12 divisions. And we're going to take the four first. And in those divisions, we're going to start in at position one and moving along four every time, we're going to mark off the beats. And if we do that for the first, we end up with position one marked off. Now position two, then three, then four, and we mark another one here. One, 
two, three, four. We mark another one here. Now we can't move on from here because we've only got three remaining divisions. So therefore, that is the representation of the four as a rhythm. And those beats, and I've put the beats here, go in position one, position five, and position nine. Okay, so I'm going back over to the pyramid and I'm going to, we're on step mode, I'm pressing E steps and I'm going to 12. Now, this that we're looking at at the moment doesn't look like it represents what we just did on the paper. That's because you can only get three, you can only get three lots of four. So, in fact here, if I go 12, 3, this now represents what we've just done on paper. Position 1, position 5, and position 9. And look, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. And we can't go any further because it stops at 12, because we've got 12 steps. So there's our first polyrhythm. Now we'll go to the next one and we are now going to add beats at every third position and that gives us this. Here's the first beat. We know we're counting three now here. So one, two, three mark off a beat, one, two, three, mark off a beat, and one, two, three, mark off the beat, and there are two divisions remaining. And we should have the pattern on one, four, seven, and 10. So I'm now going to go to the four, and it's equally distributed out now, those four lots of beat within the 12 steps and that's why we've now got the first one one two three marked off one two three one two three and these are the the last two divisions so that is how we map the mathematics to create a polyrhythm against the pyramid now I'm going to now, we've, we're only working in one track, I'm now going to, I'm going to leave this 12-4 here, I'm going to go track and add a new track, I'm going to connect again to port A and the USB port and I am going ruin two. So step and go Euclidean and 12. That's what I did before. And I'll go four, four here and three here. So we've got one with three steps and the other with four steps. And this one I need to change the note. Now I'll put a a snare in so that you can hear the difference. And there's the two different sounds. Now if I play these That's our two polyrhythms playing along. Now just to prove this, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove that and I'm bringing in now to the mix this piece of software. It's called Bounce Metronome and it allows us to see what's going on here. Now, we've got two parts represented here. And there's a tempo dial there. Now, the overall tempo is 120. 
And one that I've told the software is that I want two parts. I want this four, three, which you can see here. So it's created these sections. Now you can see from this that they start together. And although the beats are in different positions, they start and end together. Then they come back round to the beginning again. Now I'm going to, now this is live, there's no trickery here. I'm going to open that up and I'm hoping that if I press play, it will follow, which it is. Now let's see what's happening here. Now I'm going to take one part out, which is this one. So we've got the four beats there. So I'm going to go to the track with the four. And I'm going to mute the track, the first track on the pyramid, leaving, leaving this track. And if we look, you can see that bounce metronome is following the pyramid and we can hear the snare at every point. Now what I'll do is I'll go over to the other track and I'll mute the second track. Now if you look here on the pyramid there's our three bass drum beats. You can't see it here because I've hidden it, but I'm going to bring it back in and I'm going to hide the first part. There's our rhythm. And you can see here it moving along. Now I'm going to introduce both. So I'm going back to track on the pyramid. I'm going to unmute the second track and let both run together. And now I'm going to bring it back in on bounce. And if you look, the two join up at the first beat, always. So what I'll do now, just to show off the feature of Bounce, is I'll just bring this into the mix, and I'm going to add it's already here you can see I've prepared we've got one with the four we've got one with the three and here's a 12 so if I do that in fact I'll do that I'll go yes now we can see I'm going to just do that and I'm going to hide one and two. Now this, this represents 12, and I haven't put it on the pyramid yet. So I'm going to create a track, and we can see here on the screen it's gone to the next track. I'm going to go to 10, the channel. I'm going to send that out. I'm going to go to step mode. I've gone into Euclid and I'm going to select, uh, let's have a look. Uh, I'll do a closed hi-hat, which is F sharp too. So and I'm going to tell it now steps. We know it's 12. And I'm going to add seven. In fact, I'll add 12. Now we can see that we've got our 12, we've got one beat in every step. And if we look here, there's our 12 coming across here. And now I'll introduce the other. Now, 
now we can see all of them. There we are, they're all aligning up here and they're all doing their rhythms. So in a nutshell, that is polyrhythms. I hope you've enjoyed the video and please look up Bounce Metronome because if you want help in learning these things then that's a good piece of software to go to and you can see we've, in, we've brought together software and hardware because of course on, a hard, on the hardware itself we can only see one at a time because I can only go to one track at a time whereas with Bounce I can see all three concurrently and that my polyrhythms are working. Okay, okay thank, thank you for listening and watching. If, if you have any other suggestions um, for a tutorial, tutorial on the pyramid or any other instrument, provided I have it, then I'll, I'll create one.